Now, while the reaction mixture is chilling, we can set up our Buchner funnel vacuum filtration setup. As you can see here, we have the clamp needed to hold the vacuum Erlenmeyer flask in place, along with proper vacuum tubing, the Buchner funnel, and filter paper. First step is we're going to take the vacuum hose and attach it to the flask. We are then going to take the flask and clamp it into place. Next, we are going to take the Buchner funnel, place it on top, and we're going to take the filter paper, place it inside the Buchner funnel. Next, using deionized water, we are going to wet the filter paper. Next, we're going to turn the vacuum on to create an airtight seal. Our 15 minutes are up, so now let's take a look and see if the aspirin did indeed uh, crash out like it should. Looks pretty good to me. We have quite a bit of precipitant there. We can take out the Erlmeyer flask, add in some cold deionized water, and put it through our filtration apparatus. As you can see, there's still some solid that did not get removed when we added the 25 mils of cold deionized water. We can add a little bit more water into the flask to try to make sure we get all that aspirin out that we have created. Again, we want to make sure we're using cold deionized water to do this. If we were to use warm deionized water, we may get a side reaction. And for us here, this side reaction would actually be the main reaction going in reverse. As you can see, I was able to fully remove all of the aspirin by adding a little bit more of that deionized water. Now we are going to let the solid aspirin that's on top of our filter paper sit on the apparatus for about 15 minutes to make sure that it is fully dry. Because we have to make sure we remove all the water that is now in that sample, so that way then we get an accurate weight recovery. One way we can do this to help make sure that the aspirin is fully dry is we can take a second piece of filter paper and place it on top of the funnel and then press down to soak up any of the remaining water that we have. Okay, so our 15 minutes are up. So the one thing to make sure of before you remove the Buchner funnel is that the vacuum is off. Now we get to scrape the aspirin off the filter paper and onto a pre-weighed watch glass. I have successfully scraped all the aspirin out of the Buchner funnel. I can now take that mass and then calculate my percent recovery. If you remember from the beginning, we were starting with two grams of salicyclic acid, and that was our limiting reagent. If we determine our theoretical yield from starting with two grams of, of salicyclic acid, we should expect to get 2.61 grams of aspirin. Now is the moment of truth. I weighed out two grams of aspirin, determining my percent yield, I got 77%. So not the greatest, but better than nothing. Now it is time for the iron three chloride test. And that is what the next video will go over.